Creating consistent characters across your designs can be challenging. Leonardo AI is here to revolutionize your creative process. So in this video, we will walk through the step-by-step -step process of creating characters that not only look great, but stay consistent. Let's begin. So to start with our image generation, we are going to need a prompt structure. Elle have written a prompt for ChatGPT. You will find this prompt in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tutorials. As you can see, the AI has given us five different scenes and outfits for our consistent characters with the name Alex, but it has written in bullet form. So I'm gonna ask to write, write the prompts in paragraph form so that it's easy for us to just copy and paste to Leonardo. What you're gonna do right now is you're gonna copy the first scene and you're, we'll head over to Leonardo for image generation. Leonardo gives free users 150 points every day, but I already used some of mine. So now I've got 112 points left. Now I'm gonna paste our first prompt here and then hit generate. You can see the settings on the left and you can set them whichever way works for you. And for now, it gives four images per generation for free users. Now that we have our images, you're gonna go to the menu bar by the images generated and you, you're gonna select copy seed and then you're gonna go to your advanced settings and then you paste the, the seed number. Now we're gonna head over to making the second image. So you're gonna go to chat GPT, copy the second scene, go back to the Leonard and then you paste it and hit generate. Each and every generation takes about 13 points. As you can see, that's our boy Alec will then choose which one is you consistent character because on these four images, there is one or two that are the same. Then you download the one that you want. So let's generate our third image of Alex. So we'll go back to chat GPT, copy the third scene, go to Leonardo paste and hit generate. You see now Alex is on picture number three, still the same face, but different scene. Now let's go ahead and generate image number four. As you can see, our boy is there riding a bike, wearing a different outfit, but the face is still the same. So now we will generate our last image. Out of the four images, you'll find one or two images that have consistent characters. In scene number five, our boy Alex is sitting on the couch. This time only three images were generated for unknown reasons. Anyway, that's okay because our constant character is there. So now you can download all your images and start with your creation. Thank you for watching until next time.